Welcome to another video on this channel. Today's topic is retailers and wholesaler. What is retail? Retail, by definition, is the sale of goods or service from a business to a consumer for their own use. A retail transaction handles small quantities of goods, whereas, wholesale deals with the purchasing of goods on a large scale. Retail transactions are not to be confused with online transactions. Goods must be sold from a single point directly to a consumer for their end users. What is retailing? Retailing is a distribution process in which all the activities involved in selling the merchandise directly to the final consumer, for example, brick and mortar retail store, shopping malls, shopping website, automatic vending machines, kiosks, etc. The most common type of large scale retailers are as follows 8. Departmental stores. B. Multiple shops chain stores. C. Mail order retailing. D. Consumer cooperative store. E. Supermarkets. Now in detail. 8. Departmental stores. It is a large retail store in which a wide variety of products are sold through separate departments under one roof. Banmark was the first such retail store opened in France in 1852. Features of departmental stores. 1. Central location in a big local market. 2. Many units or departments in the same shop under one roof. 3. Centralized ownership, management, and control. 4. Different varieties of goods stored and sold. Therefore, customers get a better choice. 5. Personal services like telephone booth, restrooms, restaurant etc. are provided. Next. B. Multiple shops or chain stores. These are retail shops owned and controlled by a single big organization. Most of them are also the manufacturers. They are located in different parts of the cities throughout the country. They deal in similar products at uniform prices. Examples. I, Mata, 2, McDonald, 3, Big Apple, 4, Reebok, V, Reliance Fresh, and 6, Adidas. Features of chain stores or multiple shops. I, these are located in fairly populous localities where sufficient number of customers can be approached. 2. All the branches are controlled by the head office which is concerned with formulating the policies and getting them implemented. 3. Manufacturing and procurement of goods is centralized at the head office. 4. Sales are decentralized. V. All sales are strictly made on cash basis. 6. Multiple shops have identical display, decoration, layout plans etc. Next. C. Mail order houses. These are retail outlets that sell their goods through mail. There is generally no direct contact between the buyers and the sellers in this type of trading. A. Goods are well identified and well known by brand name and are of standardized quality. B. There is a popular demand by the customers scattered over wide areas. C. Products do not require any demonstrations. D. Goods are durable and do not get spoiled in transit. For example, Stationary items, small appliances, medicines, books, cosmetics, toilet goods, ready-made jewelry, footwear, watches and other branded products. D. A consumer cooperative. It is a retail business which is owned by the consumers themselves. Their basic objective is to eliminate middlemen. The consumers join together and manage the business and the profit thus earned is retained among themselves in the proportion of their contribution. Next, E. Dot supermarket, large retail store operated on a self-service basis, selling groceries, fresh produce, meat, bakery, and dairy products, and sometimes an assortment of non-food goods. Next, wholesaling is the act of buying goods in bulk from a manufacturer at a discounted price, and selling to a retailer for a higher price, for them to repackage and in turn resell in smaller quantities at an even higher price to consumers. Characteristic of Wholesaler The main characteristics of Wholesaler are 1. He buys and sells goods in large quantities. 2. He deals only with a few types of products. 3. He acts as a middleman between the producers and retailers. 4. He usually makes cash purchases and sells goods on credit to the retailers. 5. He does not sell goods to consumers. 6. 
Heat operates in a particular area determined by producers. Function of wholesaler. A wholesaler is necessary because he performs several marketing functions which are given below. Number 1. Assembling. A wholesaler buys goods in bulk from different manufacturers and keeps them at one place. He collects goods from several places much in advance of demand. He may also import goods from foreign countries. Number 2. Warehousing, or, storage, there is usually a large time gap between production and consumption of goods. Goods must be stored for a considerable time. A wholesaler stores goods in his warehouse and makes them available to retailers as and when demanded. He stabilizes prices of the goods by adjusting the supply with the demand. He creates time utility. Number 3. Dispersion. A wholesaler distributes the assembled goods among a large number of retailers scattered at different places. He sells goods in small quantities according to the choice of retailers. This is known as breaking of bulk. Number 4. Transportation. A wholesaler arranges for the transport of goods from producers to his warehouse, and, from the warehouse to retailers. He carries goods in bulk thereby saving costs of transport. Many wholesalers maintain their own trucks and tempos to carry goods far and wide quickly. Thus, a wholesaler adds place utility to the goods. Number 5. Financing. A wholesaler often provides advance money with orders to manufacturers. He purchases goods in bulk on cash basis from them. In addition, he often sells goods on credit basis to retailers. In this way, he provides finance to both producers and retailers. Number 6. Risk bearing. A wholesaler assumes the risk of damage to goods in transit and in storage. He also bears the risks arising from changes in demand and bad debts. He serves as the shock absorber in the distribution of goods. Number 7. Grading and Packing. Many wholesalers classify the assembled goods into different grades, pack them into small lots and put their own trademarks or brand names. In this way, they perform the functions of grading, packing, and branding. Number 8. Pricing. A wholesaler anticipates demand in market conditions. He helps to determine the resale price of goods. The short answer questions are Point 1. What is retailer? Point 2. What is wholesaler? The long answer questions are What is retailer and wholesaler in detail? Use the Marketing Management Book by Philip Kotlar. For more update please like and subscribe this channel. Thank you.